Hey, this is Mike with 5 Minute Guide. In this video, we're going to look at how you can download your photos from PixieSet. So your photographer has sent you the link and you are looking over all of the uh, all of the photos from your shoot. To download them, look for this little arrow up in the uh, top right hand corner above the uh, gallery here. Click on download. It'll ask you for your email address and a four digit pin. Um, then you can choose if you want the web size or the high resolution. Uh, if there are different sets or if you've favorited any, you'll be able to select how you want to download it. And then just simply click start download it. So once it's ready, you can just click download or you know follow the link in the email. Uh, this is a pretty small gallery, so it's not gonna take very long. So I'm going to choose where to save these. And I'm gonna give it a name that's a little bit more descriptive than this craziness here. We will call it um, photo gallery and save it. Next, you'll need to open that up. So here I have my photo gallery zip. If you're on a Mac computer, you'll just right click and extract and that'll be that. If you're on a Windows computer, you'll right click and choose extract all. This is a perfectly fine uh, place for me to extract it to. If you want to extract it to a different place, that's fine. Uh, so click extract. It'll do its thing here. Okay, so it's extracted it and now I have this other folder. If you double click on this folder and go in, you'll see that the images are right here. The problem is they're really small. They're, they're horribly small. Um, so if you try to use these images at this point, you're, you're gonna be really mad at your photographer. So go back to the crazy named folder, the one with all the numbers and everything right click and extract again. And if you wanna extract it right there, that's fine. Um, but you know, choose where you're going to extract it and extract it a second time. Um, this will give you access to the full size photos instead of these like 2% versions that are tiny. So now we have a folder called highlights. If you don't have a folder with like a normal name, then uh, you probably have more extracting to do. So now we get in here and these photos are significantly better. Um, before they were like 160 kilobytes, now they're 1.6 megabytes. Uh, their dimensions are 3500 by 2300. They're, they're a logical size, they're not some tiny, tiny compressed photo. Um, so if you don't have something that's a, a normal size, that's a, a decent amount of uh, disk space, you probably still need to extract some more. Um, so with Windows, the trick is you have to extract twice. So always remember if your photos look awful, you probably forgot to extract the second time. Um, after that, you are good to go. You can use your photos uh, as your photographer has instructed and you are all set. I hope this video is helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks.